Well, there it is. That looks like it'd be pretty sweet. Big old windscreen, maybe some 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 plexi cut out of it with a swing door and then a a side piece. That'd be hillbilly enough. Real nice. She's a little rough around the edges, but uh there's this big old great big old dent in the front. Real, real nice. But I think I can get that straightened out. There's all kinds of randomness going on here. This two by four here is literally just bolted right through the that's it. She's a pig. She's like the coolest boat I've ever owned. Oh my. There was no support under the deck. This piece of plywood was just riveted to the aluminum itself. And that is it. Here we go. A couple hammers and some boards and it's pretty straight. I mean this is real flimsy. So if I can find some of this rail I can get it all put back together. Maybe went a little overboard. But it needed done. Needless to say, it was rotted. I was able to get it out without tearing up too much. What a mess. But yeah, it's pretty much, you know, just mush. Mush. Transom's out. Didn't affect the, the bow at all. The uh, tool of choice. That worked pretty good. They want holes. And there's plenty of them. There's a plan. Put a bend right here. That way I can bolt it to the bow back. And uh, be pretty strong that way. And on the side leg I'll rivet a piece of eighth inch angle to the side of the boat and then I can either weld to that or however I want to do that. But that way I can pull the shield off if I want for some other reason if I screw something up or we hit something with the boat. So, and then this U channel should be able to come all the way up around that and down around. I can run lighting in that underneath, shining down, light the walkway up and around. I can do, do all that. Should be able to hide lighting in that track in a perfect world. There's a Half, half template there. That one will get scooted over, cut at an angle, and then weld it to the aluminum sidewall. And I should have about 20 inches in the middle by the time I'm done. Yeah, I'm too. That's real nice. Oh, I hacked that out of there. And ain't worth fixing all the holes. Resheat the front of this. The color good. Maybe uh, use that old sheet to make a new uh, top piece or something. Little update. Get them pontoons stripped off. 
and cut into them and see what thickness that is. Got my sheet metal inside and out of the ice. I gotta get it. Find a rake that can bend it. A six foot wide piece. That'll be your live well lid. Four by ten sheet uh, off the side of a box truck, an old box truck. And I got some plywood in. But I'm going to take the sheet and get it, find a break and bend it. Sheet's kind of beat up, but I think it'll clean up okay. Work. Still got a reflector mounted right here. That's still holding hydraulic. That's a good sign. Yeah, a little bit of over here, but... Oh, there it is. The front windshield, anyway. Got it on the brake. Got it bent. It'll bolt to the back of that bow. It's a 28 degree bend. And then I'll uh, order some windows and cut the holes later. My well's pretty close to going in. Welding some bracing in the floor there, all the way back. It's coming along. So that'll be the shape there. This will be the top. And that'll be the side where your legs will rub when you're fishing. I'll take this off and probably trim like right here and then this will go around all the braces. I'll have to notch it around every brace. That saw makes a mess but boy does a good job at cutting this stuff. I'll bend that right there. Bend it over. It's always great when a plan comes together. I went with inside the rail. I know the wood one was on top of the rail, but I went with inside on the rail. Just because I thought it looked cleaner. Uh, it's kind of back the uh, windshield where it bolts on and then a little divider there. Plus it's a, it's a support for the front deck. But the anchor will be set up there, that way we'll keep it kind of away from everything else. Surprise number 6,546 of this boat. Holes that are caulked and then painted over. Quite a few of them too. Kind of like a light bright. Just a few holes there. Go oh, six thousand cuts later. I finally got it. pretty close. That's going to have to do. There it is. Whole lot of measuring and whole lot of cutting. Nibbling. Ended up with a nice 18 and a half inches between them. Coming together there. We decided to sell this motor and upgrade and uh, there was a lot of interest so this one's going to Virginia Virginia Beach to a guy over there 
And we picked up a real gem of a new motor that you'll see here shortly. Should fit pretty good. Again, took a few tries. There it is. So that's the final piece. So by right, that'll be the same for the other side, or it should be. Teeth stopped overnight, did a little bit of welding on those side legs that I fabbed up the other day. And I'll tell you, these things, they're stout. I'm pushing down on it. They're here. I'm cross straight and butt that one in because it's at a different angle. And a miter here. I'll go down, miter there, across, miter there, up, miter again, crossed, and butt into this piece, which would be miter to that. And that should work. Well, Steve came over at night. I had this frame all made up and he welded it all in there. God, this thing is crazy stout, like it doesn't move at all. Well, I'm going to attempt to haul this boat about 15 miles over to Steve's place. We're going to take off that windshield. So I put that, that ladder brace on top to kind of hold it all steady on the top when I was doing the arms. Well, my dumbass just realized that uh, the corner cap for the transom was on the boat in the garage, and now it's not on the boat. So it's somewhere along this road, hopefully. As if things weren't complicated enough, but there's a transom cap. Maybe if we let a car run over a few times, that'll help things. Nice. Yeah, I found it. It's in pretty bad shape, but it was kind of in bad shape to start with, so I really don't know how much I'm out there. So I might try to beat it up a little bit, but I might just try to make my own. Oh, yeah. Got some inch square stock, scrap stuff, whatever. Should be enough to do what I need to do. Side boxes are done. So, a lot of work for such a little thing, but they're going to be nice. Got the top half of that pontoon. I'll try to use as a the top of these two troughs here. Should be thick enough. That's them. They'll all get riveted. I'll rivet everything on there. I'm not going to weld any of that sheet metal on there because it's all getting covered in turf anyway. Welded them all shut on the boat and the bow. And then re-drilled the holes. The right size. Now they're nice and tight. So hopefully these work better. Well, 
what a mess. But they uh, they tighten up pretty good. So that's it, man. Now I can clean up all this mess. Kind of like that. Boy, she's pretty. First coat. That's a prime. I think after some wet sand and it'll there's all kinds of scratches and stuff back here that maybe will disappear a little bit. But the waves will always be there. <laughs> Look at that. I like the color. A little bit darker than the 20 footer. Polar craft decals, they're no joke. Of course they've been on there for 30 some years, but that glue was ridiculous. The goo gone. A degreaser, scotch bright pad. Make sure you get it all cleaned off. Man, oh man, look at that. It's an absolute dumpster fire. Paint might not even help this side. <laughs> well, that's nice. Check that out, man. Pretty smooth, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. The front's only got one coat on it, so I got more to do there, but this one's done. The side's done. Oh yeah, and the back stem. Got all 2,000 holes that I patched in this thing. And you get to priming the, the last side of it, and sure as heck, another hole or two. That one's probably a hole that's got the caulk in it, I bet. It's the only one left. It is the quote bad side that has all the holes in it. The uh, one more good sand on that and then one more coat, but you really can't tell. Tilt, pretty nice. Your physical shifter. We've got windows. Uh, we just got to get them cut in. Anyways, uh, this transom cap here. Found some aluminum handrail. And it just so happens that it's. Pretty beefy one and two it I mean it fits right on there. So a little trimming. A little trimming on it, and I think that's gonna make a nice transom cap for me. Without too much trouble. I think it'll work out. What you're doing over there is really hillbilly. What do you got going there? Clamp to clamp. Looks nice. 
Ran out of time today to get that one done, but this one's done. Not finished product. Not too shabby. You got you just got your ass kicked by that that hole for sure. There she is. Just look at it. That's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous at all. 20 year old time capsule right there. Don't mess it up. Quarter, quarter inch ish gap for the glass, for the rubber gasket ish. ish. Take her off for paint. Looking good. That's the step. It's just tacked together right now. It needs cleaned up and and finished welded. But it's three sixteenths aluminum. It'll be pretty beefy. two coats of color. I'm going to wet sand the crap out of it. Just hit that with some 400 is what I hit it with. Smooth it right up and I'll put the final coat on top of that. Tadlock came over and we actually accomplished something. Think it'll work anymore? Hey, right, it does. No, it doesn't go down as far as it's supposed to now that I bent it. I hit it with a conduit bender, so. Turn signal. Jack plate switch. Going in. Hello, OSHA. Look at my work attire. Alright, we're watching. Real accurate. Oh man, right on. That line looks... She's swerving. That line looks amazing. That should break off <laughs> real clean. Got all the insulation in. Got shift cables. 
main harness, a bunch of other crap. One Smurf tube, two Smurf tubes, cutouts for the seat bases. It's floor screwed down, got all the bases in. We ran out of screws, but we got them in there anyway. We used the uh, nut certs. Got the step in, bolted to the console. You can yank on that windshield and it doesn't move at all. So that worked out pretty good. Say seats in. 54 tall bimini. Eight foot long, which is gonna hang the front, but we don't care. taking a $500 bimini top and taking a sawzall to it. We uh, modified it and so it fits on our existing bimini points. This will be the winter, the winter canvas. Get some side curtains made for it because it's already got the zippers on it. That'll be the enclosure. Not near as tall as, as most, but it's gonna work. Mom got us the side curtains all done. Should be nice and warm. Phil Billy. Got the new chairs in there. The old chairs were complete garbage. Frames bent. You were sitting on the bars. Working on hatches. That's just how it has to be because of the, because of the framing in the back side. Oops. Got the jigsaw. <laughs> just get a little CD on it. Got the gasket taped to the window to start. Then you put the string in there. And as you pull that up, pulls, Push it on the top. pulls the gasket out. Come on, baby. Oh, boy. Come on, baby. Push in. I'm down to crunch time here. Need them windshield wipers. We're trying to make this front piece using some scrap aluminum. Something like that. We, we got to get the angles and everything, get it all nice and tight in there. And that's also going to kind of support that front deck since it's kind of janky. Little front there. We can put the Mount some stuff to that, mount a mount for the lights and your anchor rope and whatever. Maybe some power outlets. Covers up all the nonsense that was on the back side of that bow. But yeah, sinkers, pliers, you know, fish grips, whatever can all just go laying in there. Be pretty nice. Then we'll turf all that. She's all wet sanded and hosed out. We'll see how it turns out because there was 36 holes just on that side. I think they must have had a side console mounted in about 15 different areas through its life. So a lot of patching, a lot of, a lot of patching holes with the welder. This side not so bad, but man, that side over there was bad. We'll get her all painted up and see what happens. And man, let me tell you, she don't get much better than that, pal. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. My pre glue. <laughs> yeah, pre glue, but there's an inch and a half space there we gotta glue. So. No idea how much thought went into that piece right there. Man, she looks pretty clean. That's nice. Yeah, take something and chuck it up there. <laughs> I don't know either. There you go. <laughs> Is it staying? Not really. No, it will. You don't, I don't have a case. Yeah, we just put a big border border on here too, but it looks sharp. There you go. There's my tank. The chop off right there. Pump will go on that end, and that should be nice and sealed up. Looks like it anyway. Better than my last try. Adding in foam, just because. There's a bunch of foam under the floor, you know, as far as flotation goes, but we'll add some more there because we can and also make it quieter for that pump running in this filter stack. Made a bung out of some pipe we had. This is that welding table, you know, we were supposed to be able to work on, you know, and get some stuff done. And meanwhile, you got... Jonathan over here using a friggin' five gallon bucket to weld on. Do anything the easy way, right? Sanding the inside of that. Jonathan had all that with a sander, and then I'm just doing some paint in here before we throw it in there. And hopefully, it never comes out again. Try to get some turf in this bad boy. And if we screw up a sheet, we'll have to order one. We ain't gonna screw it up, are we? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's about 10.30. No, it's fine. <laughs> what do you mean? This shop isn't messy. Not messy at all. <laughs> Good night. It looks clean, man. You gotta get that door on there. And, yeah. Still gotta do side boxes here, but we got the back part done anyway. Getting absolutely owned by this turf. Nothing square from the factory. You have to trim every edge, all four sides. Because it ends up short, long, it's all different. Normal tools when you're turfing. Oh man! There we go. Like a glove. Like a glove. Connect the dots. Get it. Oh man. Quality quality garbage. Quality garbage. Technically the last piece though. That's a good way to do this. Yeah. It'll bite you. <laughs> the stuff sticks good. For now.
16 foot boat. It feels like my 20 footer. Plenty of room. Two guys. Black socks. <laughs> Still gotta hook that lid on there, but it's on for now. This turf stuff was a pain. It looks good, man. Well, I don't think it's supposed to do that. I'd say she might be toast after all these years. Switch panels. All homemade. And that's the uh, side for the pump. Pumps and uh, fill pump. Research pump. And there's your live timer there. And then this will be for the aerator, which is just a 12-volt uh, uh, bubbler. It's just awful. Well, we've been running the crap out of this thing for a while now, and it's been been holding up. Uh, that turf, that turf's a little soft compared to some of the high dollar stuff, I'd say. But uh, you know, you hose it off, it, it cleans up pretty good. You can use a. Uh, a bristle brush, like a real soft bristle brush on it to to get in the crevices in that. But she's holding up good. Everything we wanted it to be. Plenty of room, but it's still small. And the live well's working good too. filter and stuff in there and cleans that water right up. <laughs> 